Hi there everyone, my name is Nick Hoogmer and welcome to my weekly vlog about real estate in Curaçao. Today we're going to talk about 5 things to consider when buying an investment property in Curaçao. And then we're talking about long term rentals. We're going to do another episode about short term because that's a whole other market. Today we're going to talk about long term. First thing to consider is, is there demand? Well, if there wasn't any demand, I was not talking about it probably on video, but yes, there is demand. Um, if you divide the market in three segments, so we have low income, mid segment and high income, uh, in all three segments we have many uh, demand. Uh, Curacao counts about 160,000 population at the moment, but there's always demand and it, it basically has to do with uh, the people moving to the island. Um, for their job, for their work, uh, so we get a lot of expats on the island who used to stay between two and three years and they are uh, perfect tenants for a possible investment property. Okay, the second thing, always try to think about who do you as a, a property owner want as tenants. So that's a very important thing to, to, get, in, uh, to get clear so that you know okay, where I'm going to focus on. And of course the realtor can help you to, to explain, okay, in this segment, in that neighborhood, you can expect these type of, of tenants. So that's an important question actually to ask to yourself. The third thing you want to ask yourself is where do my tenants want to live? So in which neighborhoods, in which areas would they want to live and why would they want to live there? Uh, things to consider, of course, the schools, uh, the job, where they, where would they work? Um, is it trend located so travel time to supermarkets and these kind of uh, facilities so that's very important to also like focus on because then you're gonna guarantee yourself that you're gonna buy the right property uh, as an investment fourth point that you want to consider is are you gonna buy something that is moving ready and up to standard or are you gonna buy uh, probably a, a cheaper property but you're gonna do the renovation yourself and you're gonna make it up to up to date um, usually in the second scenario you are able to buy uh, buy lower but then you also have to consider the, um, the investment that you need to do in putting in new bathrooms, new kitchens and of course uh, a property manager who is going to manage all of that uh, if you're just an investor. So that's important to, um, yeah, to, to realize. Okay, the fifth and the last point of course, very important, what are the costs that come uh, um, with the investment property and what is going to be the possible ROI. Um, on average, my uh, investors that I help get about 7 to 8% for long term rental before costs. And costs to consider are mainly uh, the yearly tax, um, the real estate commission, because every time you're gonna um, have a new tenant, you have to pay a one month commission fee. And uh, of course, the maintenance, and you have to make a long term maintenance plan to see what you're gonna have to do every time a tenant leaves but also like, okay, what I'm gonna have to replace after 10 years, painting, all these kind of things. Okay, so that was it for today. Um, the other episode about vacation and short-term rentals is gonna follow soon. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.